Hi, this is Chef Warshot. Today I'm going to show you how to make an orange pot roast. All the ingredients that you need for this recipe is very easy. You don't even have to fuss around with real oranges. You can use orange juice or orange soda if you will. You'll be able to find all of the measurements in the bottom of the description box in the video and also you'll be able to see it throughout the bottom of this video. Okay, in my pot I have um, three tablespoons of olive oil with two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I just kind of cooked it until the butter kind of turned like a brownish color. Here I have a this is a chuck roast. This is a about almost three pounds and I just cut it up into about one and a half inch cubes. So just place the chuck roast into the uh, olive oil and butter. This is on high. I'm not going to move the meat at all. I'm just going to let it sit for a second. Because I need this to stay extremely hot to help the sear. I'm going to um, sprinkle the top with some salt and pepper. Just about two, two teaspoons of salt. Black pepper, I'm going to add about a teaspoon. A little more than a teaspoon. So I'm just going to let this sit for a few minutes. This needs to stay on a, either a high flame or medium high flame. Just wash it. Make sure it's not burning. But it shouldn't be because the temperature has been lower from the meat in the pot. So it's been about five minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and flip the meat. Now I'm going to let this sit again on the high flame. And it's going to sit on here for a few more minutes until it starts to really sear. You're going to hear it. All the liquids in the pan is going to be absorbed into the meat and the rest is going to be evaporated. Okay, so I'm going to move the meat around and you see almost all the liquids evaporated. So that's what I want. I'm going to add um, 12 ounces of uh, this is an orange drink that I have. You can use whatever you have on hand. And I'm going to allow this to come to a boil. Now that this has um, come to a boil, I'm going to give this a stir. I have a few ingredients that um, we're going to add now. First is um, 8 ounces of baby carrots. Next is uh, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And this is going to be 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. A teaspoon and a half of celery flakes. This is dried celery flakes. I have a teaspoon of ground ginger. I have a teaspoon of smoked paprika. A teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. Give this a mix. And some of the brown sugar clumps, I'm just crushing it to make sure everything's well mixed in. Now I'm going to add to this a third a cup of soy sauce. Now you're going to add just enough water to cover everything. And add a little bit more water. So now we're going to bring this to a boil on high. I'm going to cover this. So this is coming to a boil. And I have two onions here. I'm going to add one that I roughly chopped now and the other one I add potatoes. I didn't even pull it apart. I just chopped it. Just throw it in. So just give this a quick mix. Put the lid back on. This is still on high. Leave this on a high flame. Now you're going to let this go for about another 35 minutes. So I had this on high for about 45 minutes and I did stir it after about 20 minutes. So this is what it looks like. It 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add the other onion. So that's how you have cut up two. And I have I cut up about six medium potatoes and I peeled them. Get them soaking in water. I'm going to add the potatoes. I just cut them in nice big sizes. So this is more like a rustic style dish. And I'm going to add more water. And after adding the water, stir. This is enough to kind of cover the meat again. Just want to really cover the meat. Now this time when this comes to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down and let this cook on medium for about 30 more minutes. And then we're going to add the broccoli and let it cook for another 20 more minutes. So um, once this comes to a boil, cover the heat, cover the um, pot, and turn the heat down to medium flame. Okay, so it's been like 20 minutes, and I just turned it on high, and I made a slurry here. This is uh, water and cornstarch, equal parts. And you're just going to add enough to thicken the uh, juice. And uh, I used a quarter cup of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water, cold water. Don't use warm water or hot water to mix the two together. So now this is uh, thickening the way I want it to. Potatoes are becoming tender. So now I'm going to lay the broccoli on top. Two cups of broccoli. And this is broccoli florets. Um, also one thing, you do need to taste the sauce for salt, but I'm um, 100% certain that this is enough salt. So just gently mix this in. And then this will be on a medium low for about 20 more minutes. Just make sure the broccoli is pushed down as much as possible because all of this will flavor the broccoli.